This is said to be the world's biggest 3D printer and it's building a house in Maine. The prototype is made entirely with bio-based materials. The hope is that the printer could help with greener manufacturing while slashing production times. This particular uh, machine really is not just a printer. It's really, you could think of it as a hybrid manufacturing cell. The printer, dubbed the Factory of the Future 1.0, is designed to help address a shortage of homes and construction workers in the US, printing dwellings in days that could be installed within hours. The prototype is called BioHome 3D. The floors, walls and roof in the 600 square foot home, all 3D printed, are made from waste wood fibres and bioresins. Habib Daga is the director of the Advanced Structures and Composite Centre at the University of Maine. Our goal was to put it through a few of its paces, put it out there in a, in a, in a um, challenging Maine winter, and we've seen already two challenging Maine winters. It's done extremely well, and of course we've done a lot of material testing ahead of that for years to produce to make sure it's going to work, but, but there's nothing like getting it all out there and, and then monitoring that the performance. And So we're comfortable enough right now to, to scale up and do a neighbourhood, and that's where we're heading next. That neighbourhood will have nine homes for people experiencing or at risk of facing homelessness. Daga believes a facility like this could cut production time in other fields too. Imagine a day where you have a design of a boat uh, that's particular to yourself and, and, and then you email those designs to, to a facility like this and they can produce a vessel like this in, in days versus, uh, versus uh, months or years. So, and that's... Uh, that's a possibility. We've, we we produced about a 25-foot vessel three years ago uh, in about three days, uh, and um, and we're in the process right now of producing a 50-foot vessel, 51-and-a-half-foot vessel uh, that we would be putting in the water um, here uh, within a year.